Hey everybody, welcome, welcome today to another Bite Size PD. Today we're going to be talking about filmmaking in the classroom. Uh, just so you know that this is being recorded, so, um, and some of our expectations and professional development norms today, first, we're asking you to be committed, pay attention, you know, look at the things that are interesting to you and what you can, can pull out of them for your class, be responsible, respectful, and safe, take care of your needs, allow others to speak, and, and all of those things. Um, you can mute your microphone and, uh, turn your camera off or you can turn it on if you'd like either way it's up to you if you have a question go ahead and put it in the chat and that'd be perfect today's professional development is centered around the mtss framework as always really looking at what are those evidence-based uh, practices that we can use in the classroom to help student performance so today we are your learning intention is uh you're going to be learning about resources and tools to integrate into the film into your classroom using filmmaking we're going to go over why. Why would you even want to do this? Uh, some how, and then a bunch of different resources that I've got gathered for you. So first, let's talk about the why. Why would you even want to do this, right? Well, one, filmmaking requires collaboration with your students. And this is one of those things, those soft skills that we don't necessarily teach explicitly in school, but is one of the most important outcomes is looking at students who can effectively collaborate with others. Uh, I mean, you're looking in the job industry, this is really what you're looking at. And filmmaking requires this kind of organic um, uh, collaboration. So that's an important piece right there. Next, um, getting hands-on experience while learning about the world. Students are filming real things uh, that, you know, there's, there's all of these different pieces that you can do and that's going to be really important as well. So looking at the hands-on experience. Also, to help students develop key computing skills. So there's a lot of technology involved in filming uh, that are a lot of little sol small soft things that help students kind of understand the bigger world from, you know, even just like focusing a camera or how, how does a focusing work or what even is that, really allowing them to understand some different technology when it comes to the computer, audio, um, video, editing, all of those pieces as well. Okay, so it can also help students understand and retain information. So this is a great summarization activity where students take information that they've learned, they embed it within themselves more deeply and create a multi-sensory approach, which is gonna help them contextualize and understand the real world situations and topics that they're learning in class. So really think about how you can be um, incorporating not only content they're learning, but also processes you're learning. So for example, in a math class, making a video about, you know, using a certain formula or a, a certain rule that, that exists is going to help students internalize that better than doing a video about, you know, the answer to a math question. Filmmaking is empowering for students. It allows them to communicate, to have a voice. In an adult-run world where students don't have a lot of voice, uh, it allows them to kind of put their feelings and their pieces down on paper and then share them out with the world. Also, there's that visual aspect of filmmaking where uh, you, know, you really can take those uh, different visual skills that students have let them conceptually think about something, problem solve, and then put that out to the world. So those are some things, uh, The kind of the why. So let's talk about how. First things first is the learn platform. So if you're looking for things um, that can help students and you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to do. You could start here. Uh, if you come into the Learn platform, learn.kansdistrict.org, you can go through and you can search for different apps, all of these different types of things. They have some down here in the technology section. You could even just type in video uh, to see if there's apps out there that help students um, maybe edit or use their videos. So you can see Adobe Spark is a great option. Um, the We Video Education, those, those are different options. So you have a bunch of those different things and you can kind of type in different things to try and find what's out there, right? And what's going on. Another great resource um, is the Canyons Film Festival website. And we're gonna talk about the film festival in a minute, but there's a bunch of resources and kind of help 
here in the filmmaking process that kind of walks you through um, some different ideas, some different resources. There's some more links over here. So that's going to be a good place to go. So let's talk about a few different pieces here. So uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is going to be the uh, Toontastic. So this is an app that you can get for your iPads. Um, it is approved on the Learn platform. This is a really cool app because it kind of lets you do everything in one place to create a video for your students. So it allows students to design their characters. You can see here, you can use a photo, you can draw them, they can kind of choose some pre-made ones. They can plot out their story and it has them kind of go through what the elements of a story is. They're able to animate and narrate their video inside then mix the soundtrack together, add some more things, save it and export. One of the great things that we love about Toontastic um, is Toontastic, it's usable on the iPads. The, um, they can also use it on certain Chromebooks. You can check with your uh, field tech to make sure it works on your Chromebook. Uh, but there's no downloads, there's no ads, there's no in-app purchases. So it's completely free, which is really, really great. Um, and then once you have the app, it actually works offline as well for students. There's no logins, no passwords, any of those things. Toontastic is the way to go. And it's gonna create videos that look similar to this. So you can see they have a character that they have put together. Right, they've animated kind of where their hands are moving now that they're talking, right? They've added in all of these different pieces. They're moving the camera along, moving the person, and they're able to create this video. Toontastic is a great resource for video in the classroom. Another great one is, this is something I discovered just recently um, that allows students to upload their own drawing and then animate it. So even as maybe as a teacher, this is something fun that you can do where you can take a student's drawing, you upload it, it scans it out, it recognizes parts of the body. So you'll see, so you, you know, take in here and you draw where the, the body is and, and you're gonna do all of these different things. Yes, that's right. So see how it, now it draws in the body. It's got all the character joints. So now we can see all the different places that are gonna move. And then you get to choose what animations so we want a jumping thing we want our cat to jump so then if i click on here it's going to create my character jumping so that's my character using those points and so now i can share that out i can download it and then have that little video so i'm going to download that animation open it up so now as i open that up i have a video of my character doing that. And then I can start putting all of these together as well, which is a lot of fun. So there's some really cool stuff that can be done here at this Meadow Mo Labs, and I'll put this in uh, the chat as well. So let's say your students wanna go a little bit above and beyond that. That's okay too, we have resources for them. So one of the best things that, that I use and that I've used in the classroom is SpyHop. SpyHop is a nonprofit that helps support students wanting to learn about film, music, audio, you know, video design, all of those types of things. So if you go here, you can learn about some of the different programming they have. They will even um, come into the school and do some video editing stuff, create some videos. They can do assemblies. They can come and teach, you know, stop motion animation in your class, all of those types of ways. Uh, they've got tons of resources. They've got tons of different things going on. They even have classes that students can take on their own time. So if you have students who are really interested or um, want to know more about it, tons of cool stuff here. So take a look at SpyHop as a resource for you and your students. So let's talk now about the Canyons Film Festival. So you've done all of this, you've incorporated it into your lesson, you've got uh, great videos made that students are using. Let's also recognize those students for all the hard work that they do and the cool things they've made by entering them in the Canyons District Film Festival. The film festival entries are due um, April 12th, 2022. Um, they can be uploaded here. You go to canyonsdistrict.org forward slash film festival. Students can access here, upload. Their t we have several different categories. So let's look at those right here. So we've got um, short film, which is gonna be a five, or, five minute or less film, a documentary that's five minutes or less, 
that you know, kind of goes over a subject, an animation, a PSA, a public service announcement, a newscast, a teacher film. So within that, um, you know, there could be multiple things. You could be making animations that, for the animation thing, or you could have made an animation that's a PSA. And when you click on these, it'll open up a rubric to kind of help you understand what the judges are looking for and, um, and understanding those different pieces that are involved in that. So I recommend everyone check out the film festival as well. So that is all of those things that you can use to help bring filmmaking in your classroom. If you need help, support, understanding with hardware, any of those pieces, uh, reach out to your school's instructional coach um, or me, I'm Justin Anderson, and I'm happy to help you out. Uh, if you would like relicensure credit for this, use the link. I'll put it in the chat, uh, and it's also on the Canyons U page. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.